And tonight's WGN investigates the road to shutting down the state's coal power plants. In Waukegan, the battle to end coal operations at one plant has generated a brand new fight. WGN's Lourdes Duarte has more on what it all means for a community just 40 miles north of Chicago. The end of operations for two coal units at the Waukegan Midwest Generation Plant marks the end of an era that started in the late 50s in Waukegan when the smokestacks that line Lake Michigan were built. The shutdown is part of a push here in Illinois to transition to renewable energy. In fact, there are four similar coal power operations shutting down this year, leaving Illinois communities with a lot of questions on what's next. Along the shores of Lake Michigan, the Waukegan coal plant has been around for nearly a hundred years, but now the smokestacks that line the shore are shutting down. We've been working to get a responsible retirement date and transition plan for this plant for well over a decade. You would think the move is a win in the small north suburban community. But not everybody sees it that way as another fight takes shape. When you don't know what they're doing or what they're going to put there, how is that a win? Waukegan Mayor Ann Taylor says her office has been told little about what comes next for the plant. When WGN Investigates saw her last week, she couldn't even tell us when the coal operation was slated for closure. We want to hear what their plans are and, and work with those, but we haven't really gotten a clear picture of what those plans are. Do you know when it's closing? June. June least, when? They haven't given us that date. Well, the coal power operations actually shut down last week with a smaller diesel peaker plant still running. It's alarming. It's those yeah. details that are important for people like Dulce Ortiz, who grew up in Waukegan. She wants coal ash or residue from years of coal burning to be cleared away from the plant. NRG, the company that runs it, wants to cap it instead. If we know there's groundwater contamination, why would we want to leave that coal ash there? In a statement to WGN Investigates, an NRG Midwest Generation spokesperson said capping and monitoring offers a number of benefits to the local community and environment. The closure process will be quicker and less impactful to the environment than closure by removal. None of that, though, is sitting well with environmental groups that have been keeping track of the four Illinois plants slated to shut down this year. This is challenging, and this is something that a lot of communities are grappling with because there's not necessarily a clear playbook for how this transition plan will go, and there's a lot of pitfalls along the way. And adding to the list of questions from environmental groups, a recent announcement by the state to provide a $79 million grant to NRG to turn the plant into a battery storage facility as part of the state's push for renewable energy. You can't see the grassy knoll on this side. State Representative Rita Mayfield isn't able to make sense of it. You're asking the state of Illinois to give you money to transition so that you may keep your doors open and continue to operate, but you've not applied to the city. You've not had a conversation with the city in which you reside to say this is our plan, this is what it is we want to do. The state needs to step up and make sure that they protect the residents. People like Dulce Ortiz want to see a plan too. After all, her fight to bring attention to the plant's impact on pollution has at times kept her away from family. It's been a long journey that isn't quite over yet. It's really painful, but at the same time, it's like, it's worth it. I know it's worth it because I'm doing it not only for them, but also for the future, for our children here in Waukegan. And the push right now is to have all Illinois coal-fired energy plants shut down by the year 2045. Illinois would be the first state in the Midwest to do that. Meanwhile, the Illinois EPA will have to make a determination on how the leftover coal ash will be handled by NRG. It's not clear when that decision will be made, though. We've attached NRG's full statement on our website, WGNTV.com. I'm Lourdes Duarte, WGN Investigates.